Perhaps the worst is over for FaZe Clan as they move to Mirage after a difficult nuke and a, also a difficult overpass. I'm not sure which one would you say more. It almost felt like overpass at times was more difficult, but they managed to turn it around and actually win that one. So I suppose nuke was more. But here we are, Mirage, um, a, a map which is going to be comfortable, I think, for both teams. I think even with with Neo just joining the squad, I think there's enough framework there for them to be able to do something on the T side. What do you think, Dan? Yeah, I think it's it's really early days. I think the weird thing with this series is that both teams are oddly very evenly matched. And I think that MVP would have won that last game in the series had they. I felt like they outgamed themselves a little bit on their T side. I think they had a winning formula, and they kind of went away from it. And which actually does happen. A lot of teams do that for no reason. Um, so I think moving into Mirage, I do agree that face have a stronger chance. The individuals will have more of a possibility to have impacts. You can sort of mid rounds much more comfortably. Overpass mid rounding is is pretty amazing, but you need to have a lot of routine, a lot of a lot of layers and dimensions to your 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 play. And I think Mirage, everyone play, pugs it. Every, everyone knows the mid round. Everyone knows every single smoke and flash on it. So I think that does shift the favor towards towards uh, Phase. But Snatchy, if he's this could be. Good match with Snatchy. He's, he's on 30 kills a map so far, effectively. Yeah. So it's been pretty good. But the smokes, maybe, on, as you said, everyone knows all the smokes, flashes, and positioning timings on Mirage. The most puggiest map out there. Yeah. Most played pug map. So it'd be interesting to see if FaZe are able to avoid Snatchy's alt. And I'm really looking for Nico to actually come alive this map. Uh, this is usually, you know, his, like, a power map in the con area. He likes just hiding around, get multi kills. So I want to see a big game from Nico. Speaking of most puggiest map, everyone on the server right now knows all the grenades, but that cannot be said for everybody at home who know nothing but Aber smokes <laughs> on the T side of Mirage. So I think maybe I need to do a video of like the other smokes you should know mm. on Mirage because I, I, I actually smokes. I yes. never, ever, ever, ever participate in Aber smokes ever because. Mm. I just find it ridiculous that that's all people can think about. Um, so I can't even remember half of those smokes because I just won't. I won't buy. I'll try and I'll try and sell something towards B. But anyway, I think I think we need to do do our best to educate people on on the other grenades. And speaking of grenades, I think for me a one to watch for people at home is is Mihu on the CT side if he's playing short B as he normally does. I would say that it's worth downloading the demo from HLTV after the game and just watching Mihu's POV just to learn. Just to learn about how to play Mirage, I think how to support mid. I think you should, you should actually show people what to do on A with smokes because people know the smokes, but they don't understand how to take a side after that. The routes, which is the problem. The positioning. Each it's each player it's has fear. a job. <laughs> fear is the yeah. top part of that. People make their way to Tetris, and then they won't do it because they they're like waiting for engagement. It's like you smoked off the site. So why are you standing well, here? That's, that's You've the... taken the angles away, but you're waiting for someone to pick you from the angle. There's a smoke there. So move forward together. It's like nobody wants to die first well, as so, well. So this is the thing is that people don't have a checklist of what needs to be done and who should be doing it. Or and a general so, plan. So if you see, so you need to make the, you need to have the assumption that the first guy checks these spots, which allows you to not worry about those and you check the next spots and so on and so forth. Because people don't understand the, that part, people don't know how to move into the site and then smokes go away and everyone's stuck. And it's that's that's what that's what gets me. I have no problem with Aver smokes, no problem at all. But also the other thing is that people don't know how to play around the timings of the uh, of setting up your connector guy as well in mid or your lurker in mid. People don't understand that either. So yeah, um, I would say also when when if you actually move through the choke point with the smokes up, then flashing like taking an area afterwards. A lot of people will almost leave the A bomb site. Because there's more fear, so like I don't know where to stand, or they'll hide in that freaking firebox position, which drives me crazy. But it's like often people have so many flashbangs, and they could throw a flash, take CT, send someone in to take CT. But the concept of one person flashing for another is a it's a rare beast in <laughs> in matchmaking. So yeah, the, the flash like... the flash of CT with two people to quickly take it, even where the smoke's up, it's actually so strong because yeah. there's that timing where there's just one guy there. So I think when you when you're playing pugs, there's there's so much inefficiency that there's a lot to talk about. So I, I often try to highlight these things to kind of educate people who are watching. But then there's always someone in my chat who thinks that's toxic, and it's like the point is so you can see the shortcomings of of what's mm. happening, so you can avoid it in your own game. So but most to, people understand that though. It's hard to tell people what to do. It you know, is. People it is. want to do their own thing. I know. They always think they're right. Yeah. But they're not. I want to stand in this choke point and look not at this right. smoke, <laughs> and so on. <laughs> So flash for each other. Yeah. I don't think anyone replied to me on 
whether they would or would not eco in that round where everyone died. I think I think it's I don't think it's clear cut. I it's, don't think it's open and shut. It's unexplored territory. I think it's 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 bold. I think it's a hard decision to do. But doesn't mean it's right or wrong though. But um I would like to think about that some more. I think there's a an added unquantifiable element that you allow the other team just an any like an easy an easy rounds as opposed to a struggle. And with players at this level, they can do so much with very little. <laughs> And so that's why I, I like Eric said, I, I don't like the approach they took because I feel like you want to do something. You don't want to just play a default setup. You don't have the utility to do it. They have, they will be able to outgun you. And at that point, they'd already, VP had already proven that with their utility alone. But then if you enough. don't, if you don't have a plan around that stuff, if you don't have a plan, if you're like, okay, we can do this, but we don't know what to do. Is that more reason not to buy? Sometimes well, the thing is, they have they, like, they have the plan. They have the plans. They just didn't with select one that was suitable. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it, I've been headshot with shotguns across the map, so it's yes go. I think anything's possible. But yeah, sometimes uh, the game plan is just a headshot. Wide swing together. Use numbers. You know, that's also a game plan is spacing and timing with you know trading frags. It's a All big right. part. So the odds keep moving now. People, well, people, Pinnacle are. Less favoring versus pro. I think their odds went down to like two, or went up to 2.51 or something along those lines. But now, now they're kind of inviting things. So uh, I guess they're favoring phase four Mirage as well. By no means is it guaranteed though. So, you know, if you're confident in your Polish preference, get yourself some pierogi money. Yeah, I think this is up at, very much up in the air. This is going to come down to the individuals for sure. And both teams have shown that they both have those individuals. I think. I would like to see more from Snacks in this match, but Snatchy and Mihu have been really, really uh, important. I feel like we've barely spoken about Snacks in this series. Yeah, yeah, not, we haven't yet. really. It's, it's just been, it's, I think, Ocalicious Al has been in a lot of really explosive spots. Mihu as well, entry fragging, and Snatchy orping, and Snatchy getting 30 kills. So, under past players we spotted, they don't have to commit behind that though, but considering that Olofmas is pushing the Biabs, that's scary. That's a scary prospect. FaZe have the info now. All has been doing this all game, or all series. Turns around at the wrong time, Guardian. Sees at least one of the three players. Not sure how much more he saw from the death camp. All about the headshots, though. But FaZe are on the receiving end of most of them. Oh, the bomb plant will be denied one Ooh. way. But he won't stop the bomb planter. Does he go for it again? Time is running out. Two versus one. Where is Rain? He's got three HP. He can still do this. Where do you choose to plant at this point? Do you go for the short plant? He's going for the... Safer option. Rain starting to creep up. Needs a headshot. <laughs> he was close, but not quite. Just running backwards, like moonwalking into him. And again, FaZe had a huge advantage. They had Olaf pushing the halls, so that tells you what. VP's not in halls. They have to go middle or A in that situation. Still, oh, that's a nice shot by Oak Whoa, again. that is nuts. I thought he was 100% dead when Nico's shooting him. And, and it's Nico. Yeah, it's Nico. Damn it! I don't know if Nico's had his his, his coffee this morning. He looks he looks kind of out of it this uh, entire series so far. Perhaps, he needs to step it up. Perhaps just like you know, because he's he's the guy that's been impacted maybe the most. You know, in in the sense that I mean, Neo, sure, Neo, but they're building that. But but perhaps you know, finding your feet in these new positions and roles. Mm. It's so early on for them. True, he might have switched up the spots here and there. You know, just a little bit makes a little difference. Speaking of snacks, one of the guys with the AKs. Checking Hard everything. Sneaker just trying to delay things there. Try to be annoying, try to throw off any timings, which can make a difference. So sometimes, like for example, there's a window smoke up right now. What if they really need to coordinate with Veggie here? That Does that ruin the entire timing? Do they have to re-smoke window? Does, is that the cost of that smoke that Nico dropped? It's a point to go into more, but it looks like VP was walked all the way in. And looks pretty good. So much time on the clock as well, which is fantastic for them. <laughs> Fake plant, just in case. Inviting a peek from the last two players. There's a lot for FaZe to save in these in these final two players of Olaf Meister and Guardian. Carrying just over $5,000. 5250. Oh, 3250. Kind of felt like that death was just unnecessary. I mean, you have a, you have a CZ. And yeah, you want to try to get exit kills and whatnot, but it's just kind of a careless yeah. pass. You know, just tighten up just a little bit more. It was a risk of $2,000, a little more for Guardian. He got something out of it with the 
bonus from the SMG frag, but it will be 2 0 for versus pro. Faze going for the more traditional 0 3 start after losing the pistol, essentially. So they'll have the tools that they want in the next round. Guardian looks forward to his AWP. So we'll have to wait to see the CT side of Mihu that I was looking for. Four HEs from FaZe. Mm, like what that. is the plan with the Zoloft Meister, the only person without one, jumping to that short position with a P250. So everyone's invested $300. We will see what we will see. Not a bad bit of HE damage, but the bomb side will be taken. Three HEs to go. It's an awkward spot to try to throw them from, though. Ah, oh, so oh, no, the AGs, they will be, th <laughs> they will never there. see the light of day. Oh, there's another one. There we oh, go. Okay, they make it work. They get at least one kill out of it. That's not bad. Off getting taken out. Three to zero. Vert is pro. Coming out hot again on the third map. But now it's gun round. Phase has all. Guardian has an AWP to be specific. You tailed you all around. No kit? No kit. That's a little disappointing. But maybe they won't even get a chance to plant the bomb. This is where everything could really turn around. So got Guardian on the AWP. He's managed to make his way to Catwalk. And it looks like it will be. Can you believe a, it? But they can go off contact if Snatchy can get a pick here. Unscoped. Ooh, that flick. It's Snatchy after all. That's definitely a kill a lot of the time. And look at all the counter smokes here from the CTs. But it's probably don't have to commit with this. They have time. Guardian asking questions. Fine snacks in connector. That's going to cause big problems. They're going to have to force their way in now. All through the same choke point, though. That's not a good look, but they'll take down one on the side. But Nico by Palace surely is going to decimate them. Do they see it? They do. Oculus actually checks for that. And now, FaZe have only two members left. Rain, really long rotation from him. Oh, he's found himself some targets. Olaf Weiss will work off it. Now it's a one versus two. Spots the legs and. 15 HP, it's going to be a rough one, but 1v1, got to go for it, surely. Flashbang not quite working out, Snatchy around default, Rain moving up, trying to bait a shot, the HE could be everything! 37 HP, oh, it's landed on the wrong side! He can hear the scope, however. If he, went to, if he stood on the bench, he might see Snatchy's head. But he's moving closer, close range, surely he's got an advantage. Snatchy ready though, picks the right crouch peak, and that will be round number four for Virtus Pro. While all, that, while all that action was happening on the A site, I spoke about that vintage Virtus Pro play with the play coming through apps, and Rain was looking for that for ages on the B bomb site, which is why his rotation was so late, which was pretty cool to see on the radar at the same time. Very tight round, but Faye's still on zero for now. Great retake with FaZe and that nade could have changed the round completely and as you said before, being on the bench, you would have saw his head move back and forth. Could have been another angle, but hindsight's 20-20. I'm just yeah. surprised that like three players pushing up stairs get so much, or a uh, pit that is it's so difficult to do. I feel like it's always hopeless, but they got every single correct pick at the right time. Nico was really put in an awkward spot and then put Neo in an awkward spot. Saw the smokes and Molotovs because Nico was trying to hide Sandwich on the AX cute, but the Molotov landed right in Sandwich, forcing him to A ramp. And put Neo in a, just an awkward all by himself against four people. Oh, look, my sir. Oh, ouch. Good boy. Crimson. Strawberry Jack. <laughs> Oxblood. Oxblood's a fantastic color. Oxtail is nice. Have you tried that? Some pudding. Of course I have. My mom's from Cameroon. You guys call it pudding over there? Execute into the B bomb side from Versus Pro. Guardian is ready. He's got a teammate under the window as well. Can he be the initial engager? Maybe the flashbangs will deny him. Getting a frag with the 5 7 as he, f as he fades away. Neo and Nico remain. Time is not pressure for FaZe Clan at the moment. And now it is Neo alone with the CZ75. He's got the high ground, but not much else. And it seems he will be looking for an exit frag. You can save a rifle and be, be pretty big, even though. Phase will be buying next round. It's always good to uh, save guns and 
have extra in the bank. You never know when you have to drop extra guns for your teammates. Again, we see Virtus Pro starting off 5-0, and zero, just like Overpass. They got an early lead. Or actually, sorry, not at Nuke. They got an early lead and kind of went down from there. Well, the weapon that was dropped is inside the B-bomb site, so it'll be difficult to recover for Neo. Will he even survive this bomb plant? Or this bomb explosion? Ooh, he will by quite a way. Everybody saving and for Versus Pro in the market. I love it when teams don't go further than they need to. Yeah, it's Because brave. that's a tight choke point as well. So if he is there, you're probably going to die. Outside, well, like CT spawn way. It's, it's so rare too. It's so rare that people do that. Like for example, on Dust2 and some plants, you can survive in the bomb, in the bomb site. Never see that though, it's very rare. Double offs in for phase, and maybe this will make the difference. Guardian jump, jumping down, looking for the deep peaks. Always going real far here with that flashbang. Love this. Putting your aggressive orpers in spots to succeed. Get them in the round at the beginning of the round. Don't just let them have impact at the end of the round. And Virtus Pro will quickly go back towards an A play here. And with everybody displaced in the middle, they may actually be able to punish these rotations for phase if they decide to go contact. And Neo scoped in the flashbang is perfect. My God, Mihu's nailed that flash, and it gives Snatchy an early pick. But they don't know how much is behind that. But with Olaf Meister in a deep position towards B apartments, now they know surely it's got to be A. Counter grenades will be in before the nades have been seen of Virtus Pro. So, just goes to show that Faze have read this correctly, and they aren't prepared. But can they deliver the headshots? Quickly rotating in from that mid position. Rain and Guardian are here. Olaf Meister is miles away, however. So the choke points are molotov off. Nico with some great timing there in the ninja position. Avoiding the free fight. Finally getting taken down by Veggie. Three versus three. 35 seconds for the bomb to get planted. T's creeping through the smoke, trying to control connector, but Guardian says no. Olaf Meister creeping up from that short position as well. And VP is stuck in the choke point. Bomb's been dropped on the floor. That's some sound cues. Waiting for a peek from Triple. Nothing doing just yet. Creeping around. Got to be careful. 14 seconds and it seems they will fall away and save the weapons. Hold on to what they have. So we're looking at the first round for FaZe Clan. They won't chase too much because as you can see, no one's got even $600 for FaZe Clan. So they've got to prioritize their own economy. But that's the first round on the board. So even though Nico only got one kill, what he did in the bottom side of A was very important. He was by the opposite of Ninja spot, where uh, it's easy to get picked off from either A ramp or top balcony. So he threw a smoke by the default bomb site to cover him from the triple spot, so, and so he could able to focus only on halls and under balcony. So very good, very good smart play by Nico. No. Getting that one kill, staying alive, and denying information from Virtus Pro. VP also know that they surely know that there's two AW AWPs out here now for their opponents. So there are lots of ways to deal with that. I'm hoping for them that they don't play a you know, slow pick em contact style, which does allow the ops to move around on the CT side and to get kills before the push comes in onto a bomb site. But it's pro in this default. You've yet to really decide what to what to commit to. And this is really cool that the way the snatch is kind of everywhere, looking for those those jump peaks, looking for you know these various positions where he can get that opening pick for his team. Oh there it is, there's the jump peak, but he missed it. And there's the smoke. Deep connector smoke now, and BP have middle. Or do they? I like it from VP. Methodically clearing angles. Pop live for your teammate. Mitro, though, gets taken about Neo in the ladder room. Now they have to scramble to try to take out Neo. Trade, surely. Oh no, he's not going too deep. You never know. Someone could be holding the angle. Could be a setup. Rain falls back. The bomb makes its way towards T ramp with a player in tow, but. Virtus Pro almost look like they're selling a split of the B bomb site. Guardian repositioning gets his Burong, but that's the bomb. 20 seconds now, and Veggie's the last player. One versus four on the A bomb site. Not quite going to happen for him. And there's another round in the bag for phase. Four players surviving, two sniper rifles, all good in phase's hood.
FVP. Started off the round well. I liked their initial setup, but then just kind of fell apart uh, after the initial smokes and flashes in middle. Guardian was too much uh, in that eight bomb site, along with rain. Oh, I like that. Blast of smoke. Yeah. But the question as well is, in a VP, is that for short? Looks like, yeah. Looks like or, or so, to be bomb site. So they want to be execute. So I can see how that makes a lot of sense when you're playing against two orbs. They just have to somehow get into that B bomb site and not lose too many players in jumping across. <laughs> I'll come back to are they coming back to line up smokes or how are they playing this? They've forced out a lot of utility towards B already. Oh, they should have went with their instinct. It was a good call. To go B with the two Alps. I yeah. like it. Yeah, me too. Now they're playing the hand of phase. Yeah, smart from phase to take forward positions when your opponents give it to you as an option. Mid has been taken. A B play seems to have been abandoned, so the far back positions from phase and the lack of presence on mid won't be too terrible. The trajectory of that grenade will be quite telling. Fetchy looking for a gap. Nico taken out towards CT, looking in connector one would presume. There's the bomb scene in connector now. And we may see a full rotation from phase from the B bomb side, but we'll come fast enough. Four versus two. The remaining players towards B. And it looks like phase's run of success will come to a halt. That's so smart from Veggie. Like, actually, there's so many things that could have gone wrong for him there. And if he if he dies, he's not able to make that flank happen later on. And also, what a surprising element to have Guardian by default with an AWP. Also unexpected, but that pick onto Nico by Ticket, that's such a critical one because you see teams and players just they get completely stuck if the Ticket guy peeks, maybe takes a frag, and then doesn't re peek, or that just creates too much delay. So, I wonder if Guardian was feeling nervous because, you know, he's. he's He's posted up an A ramp for a pick, all right? So that spot, you know, if you're opping that up close to A ramp, it's it's really easy actually for the opper to get that first pick, but he decides to release the angle and toss a smoke, pretty much giving away the position that, hey, there's someone close to A ramp. So very interesting play by Guardian, and uh, I would have preferred if he just held his gun out and committed to the angle 100%. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> That's what a shot. Like they were like you don't know a player's there. Just like a just a tiny lightning fast peak, shoulder peak. That's all you get. He's, he gets the kill. That's you can't even fault Nico for dying there. Just throw your hands up and like what can I do? That's incredible. Snatchy is very good. And speaking of which, yep. there's Guardian on seventeen HP, but Guardian's alive and that is a problem. So you've got the lurk grenades from Snacks for to up Mice forward, I thought he had that one, but he doesn't. He does not, and he may continue to suggest. In fact, there's cavalry coming for Virtus Pro rather than for FaZe. Nico has made his way to the B-Bomb site, though. Oh, he gets absolutely deleted, Veggie. Still more players to make their way through. Stereo frags for Virtus Pro, and that might be the round over once again. FaZe out of position on the A-Bomb site. Guardian and Neo forced to move away. Olaf making a huge risk of play. If he hit that kill, it could have been a different round. But that's the nature of the beast. You gotta do a little risky play. Risk it for the biscuit. But fortunately for Olaf, or actually fortunately for Virtus Pro, it did not pay off for FaZe. And now Guardian and Neo have to save. American biscuit so different to an English one. What's, uh, are the, what's the main difference? American biscuit is more like a muffin than a biscuit in the traditional sense. Okay. So you call our biscuits cookies, and you also call cookies cookies. <laughs> True. And, okay, so our American producers have shown me a pack of custard creams, which has just blown my mind. Are you familiar with custard creams? I don't know what that is. What's okay. a custard? So we'll, we'll have to educate you. Wait, a what's a, cu thing? a custard cream is an example of a biscuit. Seven to two for versus I'm pro. Hungry, yeah. Both teams that? on the buy. Let's that. focus, guys. Buy round. Can we please shut up in production? We've got a big frag. Snatchy's been taken out early. 40 HP for Guardian, but again, if Guardian's alive, you got problems. Smoked off in the window. 
forcing players back in that short position again. Look out for Mihu playing this in the second half. Pop flash into connector. The pre fire from Nico. Going through the smoke early. Oh, delicious. That's not normally how it's done, but maybe they gamble to try and catch somebody off guard. Hasn't quite worked out for them. And now phase are five versus three. They've lost around here or there. They would love to win this in the numbers. Snacks has a superior angle though on Olof Meister moving forward, but there are still two players here. In fact, there are three, including the one on the short area. So he's really trying to sell something. There's only two players remaining though. Fetchy's taken Rain out. I don't know if the bomb's been spotted in a mid position. Nia will stay towards A for the time being with two phase players on B. Smoke up and snacks. He's trying to do more. The bomb's still so far away. Walking through the smoke, he's found himself an eco, but can he find Guardian as well? <laughs> what is what are you doing? Indeed. What is he doing there? What kind of play was that? <laughs> At least jump past the window, but he just kind of ran past. Did he have a flash he thing swiped too? the wall with his knife as well. I don't ever understand why people do that, but very bizarre situation. And Neo's miles away. Fetchy only seen late with the bomb. No diffuse kit for Neo. We actually had a whole conversation about people swiping the wall with their knife and how the sound travels in the game. It's just never a, never a good idea. He makes his way in towards that short position, checking ladder just in case. Very careful. Oh, Veggie oh. spray. He, he tapped, he burst, he sprayed. Didn't quite do it though. Neo, more experienced man, will deliver the round of 16 HP. A much needed round for FaZe, but look at the money. It's not It's not perfect for them. Neo can drop, however. He's got most of his grenades already. Yeah, he's going to have to drop and drop the AWP to Guardian and pretty sure Snacks had a flash or something uh, against that one-on-one -on -one versus Guardian. Yeah, he has a flash in his hand. And he decides to swipe wide swing for... I don't know, that, was just, that was like a blunder. Didn't make any sense. Maybe, I don't know if it was a communication thing. They thought no one was over there. Either way, here we are. Four-round lead for Virtus Pro. Both teams on the bye once again. phase they're packed out in utility as are versus pro who versus pro for a number of rounds have had a big focus towards this b bomb sites it's been working though because olaf is one and seven they're abusing him uh towards this b bomb site or making it really difficult for him to be a part of this game not often you can say that olaf mice is being victimized nico maybe trying to make a difference in mid will be denied by snatchy started off a little cooler here on mirage snatchy but the CT side will be his playground. Oh, Snacks doing Snacks things. Oh and he gets boy. the kill on Guardian. He probably slammed his hand after that one. Nine and five. Snacks having a better start than he did on the previous maps. And versus Pro take the B bomb site. Well, we thought maybe this would be the best map for FaZe Clan. Not looking like it at the moment. All of Mice is punctured. He is now one for eight. And it is safe territory once more for Neo and Rain. Neo, I think he he's more fitting on paper than Adren, based on on roles and what was available, essentially. I th I'm interested. It, it, it's weird though, because um, Adren has done some in-game leading in the past, but I wouldn't say he's an out-and-out in-game leader, which is what Versus Pro, well, sorry, what FaZe need. Now, Everyone has basically had a hand at in-game leading on the Classic versus Pro team. So it doesn't... I don't know if any of them were necessarily happy with it or if they were just changing things up to try and make a difference based on the results. But um, I think it's a step forward for FaZe. Of course, this is day one. It's also very, very hard because Neo, he hasn't been playing that much in the last like six to eight months, at least on, you know, high-level team. Uh consistently and the meta is constantly changing over time and I just wonder how, how rusty he may feel you know mm. trying to call strats with uh, yeah it's the strats can be pretty similar up uh, in the you know for the, the most point but like little things here and there they're always constantly changing and whatnot it's it's difficult to just hop in tier one play again and to have a whole game plan to integrate it with the team to have your own you know, style of IGL on top of that. It's going to take time for, uh, hopefully not too much time for Neo to kind of adjust with phases, play style and whatnot. Because you look at Kerrigan, he kind of, him and Mao's sports 
hit, you know, he just kind of hit, um, hit it off hot and it's kind of started off really well for them. So it's almost like the opposite. They just looked really good, Kerrigan, at the start. Eight to three for Versus Pro, who take a timeout. They've won four, three of the last four rounds. So what will the plan be? Maybe the break can be quite fruitful for the players taking one. I think Flush is still on a break at the moment. I think he's yeah. just in the wind. Yeah. It can be. Uh, it's, it's, especially with Neo, who's been playing CS since 1999. Right? You do something for 10, 15 years, probably playing at least 10 hours a day, or actually I don't know how much, you know, the end of VP, how many hours they were playing. But during his prime, his 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 top of the game, he's probably playing so much CS. After a while, you do get burnt out. You have to take a step back, take a break, find that fire, because it's about passion at this level. It's about being good, but it's the passion, the will to win. Will might not be enough for FaZe Clan in a round such as this. Nico has cover from his teammates. So we could take a cheeky angle, but Snacks is very aware of the possibilities, and he will deal with them. But the continuation spray from Neo, he walks into it, Snacks. Face first. 4v4. And Versus Pro now have position in the middle area. But uh, that doesn't last very long. And when they slow things down in rounds such as this, we've seen phases, I think, on every map. Um, get some opportunities to catch up. And now you might argue they're better equipped. Four versus three. Olof Meister's has got an angle with the AWP. The scope was heard. And Versus Pro quietly back away, as is Olof Meister. So they have no idea if he's standing there holding that angle or not. So they're about to make a play towards B. And now Veggie is alone towards the A-bomb site. So this has become very strange for Versus Pro, walking into a hail of bullets from Rain. Leaves it two versus four. So Weird again, a, a similar issue that we've seen from Versus Pro on, on, on different maps in situations like this, where things get a little weird, they slow it down, but an active phase continue to increase their advantages. And now Neo's got the information towards T-Ramp, and you can see people making their way towards that B-bomb site. Olaf Meister's holding alone, I think, towards the short position with the AWP. And there's the bomb, and that might just be the round. 15 seconds remaining. Not much for me, Hugh, to do. Not much at all. I think he heard a footstep there. So he does take out Neo. But two seconds left, saves the gun. Consolation prize. You get an AK. Eight to four in favor of Virtus Pro. I think they gave one away there, but you never know. They gave a lot of weaponry to FaZe Clan. And when they were on the Eco Race to buy, that allows them to have a lot of money in the hole. As you can see, pretty much after buying, most people have about three thirty-three hundred dollars for FaZe Clan, which is fantastic for them. And maybe that slip up from Virtus Pro allows FaZe to close the gap. Maybe we see a seven eight now. They're both well equipped. Two AWPs though. Always like seeing Olaf Meister pick one up. Guardian has got the right angle. A collision stops in exactly the wrong place. And there's Olaf Meister as well. So that is quite a dismantling. A minute 35. Three versus five. Four versus pro. Not ideal at all. And FaZe will try to ruin any timing the remainder may have had with some Molotov, some flashbangs towards B, allowing Olaf Meister to move into position now. What can you do in this situation? Three versus five immediately. How on earth do you have a round from here? I have to try to make some here happen in B. Olaf, though, is not having none of it. He will take out Snatchy, bringing it to two, uh, five on two in favor of phase. That's the bomb on the radar as well, I think, unless it was kind of Snatch, but maybe it was, who knows? Five versus two, and there's no money left for versus pro, so do they just sack these two players? Do they try to save? I think they have to save at this point, but there's so much time to save with, it is very, very painful. Yeah, 38 seconds, and they're going to have to save next round regardless, so it's better off just to save an AWP and AK, give yourself another chance to possibly win next round. You, you're not going to win this round, take the next round, increase the chance, increase the odds. These are a couple of catastrophic rounds for Versus Pro. And I'm I'm surprised uh, that they didn't react to uh, that that con smoke because VP threw Molotov and connector. 
They heard the smoke. Take out the Molotov. That should be a tell in your head that there's someone one-way in smoke. Or at least you have to respect the one-way smoke. Because as you say, Guardian kind of just wide swing and took out Ocalicious, which is wide swing without throwing any utility, like or a flash or a nade or anything in. You, you hear the smoke, you have to respect it. Throw a smoke or a, a flash or a nade in the area just to at least disrupt anyone trying to one-way over it. Otherwise, you get picked off and, you know, make it harder. All right, Snacks playing a spawn. Is he headed towards B, maybe trying to catch somebody peeking towards the barrels, towards the van on the B bomb site? Yeah, he's going for it. Smart stuff though from FaZe, not going for that peak. So if you if you try to jump on the box to to get on the van, then there's a fair chance Snacks would have got a, a kill there. People like Alu and JDM like to take that kind of peek. Snacks really trying to make something happen, but the utility usage from FaZe has has been sublime, taking every opportunity away, and some tagging th through the wall to boot. Snacks is capable with the AWP, but they gave him no opportunity towards that B bomb site. So that's something for those of you at home to consider. Ooh. That's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's full blind. That's unbelievable. <laughs> the accident clicked my mouse and I got a headshot. It's always good. But phase they're not giving up. They're still doing a take map control and they do have control of A halls. This is actually pretty big. But are they watching for it? Who's timing who here? I heard a scope, but I don't remember if it was. I don't think. I think Olaf Meister was scoped in already, but he was for sure. Which way does he go though? Because he's about to walk into two people. Does he have the sound cues? Will he go down? in time this could be super weird will he see the corner oh he's heard something and now he's been eliminated so much information though will there be a rotation versus pro are in a good position regardless around the a bomb site so he won't be too concerned a rare miss from a guardian will he survive 60 seconds for this bomb to get planted he needs to try and survive and stop it he drops the bomb carrier got to look close up there a second player here how does the bomb get planted nine seconds and reigns in that short position so oh he looks so good for it but there is the bomb planted. One versus two, all of a sudden, he's got to go for this. He doesn't have a kit. There's got to be one on the site somewhere. Moving forward, I don't know if you saw Veggie move towards that CT position, but if he did, where is the other player? A flashbang to try and deny some vision. So many places the last guy could be. There it is. Nine rounds for Virtus Pro. Could, maybe should have been more. Even with five, six rounds here for FaZe at half time, I think that... Uh, could be a, it could be a lot better for Virtus Pro. Maybe we will remember that once we get to the end of the match. Mm. I see what buy we have coming out now. VP with a lot more to buy as well. Guardian still with DAWP. Same can be said for Snatchy. Two of the players on a, for Virtus Pro lacking helmets. As it has been a war of attrition. So Snatchy No Calicious will be very vulnerable to these M4A4s. No silent stem fours. No orgs. In this particular round, at least. Oh, a poor check from Snacks. Wasn't really doing the job properly there, and he'll be punished for it. So, an early advantage for FaZe as they look for a sixth round approaching half time. Guardian's in a kind of good spot. He's going to fall back. Does want to get time from person underpass just yet? MVP, they're going to re-smoke that middle. They're going to try to keep uh, creep up catwalk here with the bomb. But Rain here is in a really good spot to listen and get information for his team. That should be one kill for him in a second. No, he pulls out his nade, and Michu takes advantage of that. But Nico's right there to exchange, gets the kill and the bomb at ladder room. So they know it's a B split. And VP's in a lot of trouble. Veggie's moving up to collect that bomb, but his teammate's taken out by Guardian. So what can he really do about this? I feel like we don't see enough straight-up B splits on Barrage. <laughs> Off angles being held by Nico, and FaZe gets six rounds at halftime. I feel like it could have been a uh, 12 rounds versus Pro, but it will only be the nine. Is that enough? Find out after the break.
No me, I'll bring it to your first. Not a cover, I'll bring it to your hearse. Man up on fourth, man I put you in the dirt, man plotting in the best, and I bring it to your worst. Always had a comeback, no banter. I'm known as a serious ranter. Means I don't hold back, nothing put hands up. My emotions might need me to snap up, wrap up, something, no gift, not Santa. Do you know where you're from? Don't matter. Anyone could be food, no platter. Have you wet man and the things black up? Try no man, don't play that, don't play that. Been like that since way back, since way back. Man roll around and spray that, and spray that. Man miss you, and spray that, and spray that. Yo, man pull up, ain't talking a reload. Bust doors, no need for a key though. Man, I take aim, but this ain't a free throw. No man, I bustin' if you're coming at me though. Blah, bustin' if you're coming at me though. Blah, bustin' if you're coming at me though. Blah, man, I take aim, no free throw. No man, I bustin' if you're coming at me though. Man pull up, ain't talking a reload. Bust doors, no need for a key though. Man, I take aim, but this ain't a free throw. No man, I bustin' if you're coming at me though. Blah. Bustin' if you're coming at me though, bustin' if you're coming at me though, man I take aim no free throw, no man I bustin' if you're coming at me though, bustin' if you're coming no put it out, get the pump but I mean no shooking out, meaning if it's on then it's on stay looking out, on site gas so it's fire no cooking out, run you insane no bolting, book for the wall you're coping, you're a pump only right you're soaking, not off the love bro, brother ain't smoking. Don't know what you're checked for. Why your front have you running for the back door? Man took offense. Why you figure that's a tap for? Man, I leave more holes than you than a crack for. Too raw. That's how the beef come. Know it well, and that's how the beef done. There's no rules, though. That's how the street run. Man, I get light. See, son, let the week done. Man. Try no man, don't play that. Don't play that. Been like that since way back. Since way back. Man, roll around and spray that. And spray that. Man, miss you. Been spray that. Been spray that. Try no man, don't play that, don't play that Been like that since way back, since way back Man roll around and spray that, and spray that Man miss you, can spray that, and spray that Yo, man pull up, ain't talking a reload Bust doors, no need for a key though Man I take aim, but this ain't a free throw No man I bustin' if you're coming at me though Bustin' if you're coming at me though Bustin' if you're coming at me though Man I take aim, no free throw No man I bustin' if you're coming at me though Man pull up, ain't talking a reload Bust doors, no need for a key though Bustin' if you're coming at me though, blah. Bustin' if you're coming at me though, blah. Bustin' if you're coming at me though, blah. Man, I take aim, no free throw, no man. I bustin' if you're coming at me though. Nine rounds for Virtus Pro. They start on the CT side in the second half. Ocalicious with a smoke and a defuse kit. That's a nice angle. Often good for a split of the Bebop site. Might need a few flashbangs though. Connector left open. And there's a smoke up on short as well. And that's caused problems for FaZe Clan. I think it's nice for the bomb to travel in B apps when you're going for a B split, especially in a pistol round, to avoid situations like this. Nico, one versus three. The bomb is down underneath the window. Minute 15. Can focus on trying to thin the numbers a little bit before retrieving the bomb. Often found with a P250 on a T-side pistol around Nico. His aim is quite disgusting. Got nine bullets in the hole. And VP, for the most part, have surrounded the B-bomb site. They can rotate together. The defuse kit will give them extra confidence. If they thin out and try to protect both bomb sites, then pistol round being a pistol round, Nico being Nico, bad things may happen, but that doesn't need to be their main concern. Bomb collected. He has no idea where these players may be, but he's running out of time to really find out. I always feel very confident with a PT-50 on a pistol round, and with his health being as it is, it's definitely a solid shot at making some kills happen here. Is he going to go around to B? That's quite sneaky. But he's been spotted. Oh, now it's a bit scary. If he has to get this next kill immediately. But there's a player in the apartments. You'd never expect there to be a guy in B apps at this point of a round. So, oh man, there's just no way. They've made it impossible for Nico. Well played, VP. James, you were wondering about why don't we see more B splits? Well, a lot of people consider B splits to be one of the worst rats of all strats. They're doing it wrong, that's why. 
Moses. I'm quoting Moses here, all right? He thinks it's the worst threat in the game. It is really Moses hot. is the worst. Do you mean in general? Do you are you talking about just on Talk this map? I this map. Because I, I understand why how, how like it's very difficult to set up the timings because middle is so difficult to get up safely. Too many angles for CTs to just to sneak on by. You gotta commit like two smokes at least, a bunch of nades, utility. It could work. Yeah. It can work. And I, I like that you're a believer, James. Three pistols remain. Fairly honest, Eco ran from FaZe Clan. Nothing devious is has been attempted here. Poking and prodding with the pistols and other bits and bobs. So this is some this is a very scary situation for FaZe because Fertis Pro are gonna have this nice momentum on the CT side, all the money. Then lose any players in that round either. And if if VP are able to win this one. And then you know keep keep the you know get the ops going on Snatchy. I feel like the game could be over very quickly. So for me, this is kind of a must-win round for Phase, just because you know their T side generally we can't be that confident in it. It's going to be hot and cold, I think. It's fair to say. And VP, you know, the more time the Snatchy has to work with that AWP on the CT side of Mirage, I I see VP uh, Phase having a lot of problems with that. Faith just kind of listening. What is your go-to strat? A must-round win on Mirage. What do you do? Faith looks like they're just throwing a bunch of smokes in middle, but it could be a ruse. The bomb is towards a bomb site. His guardian's going to try to sneak in this connector. Not yet, though. Kind of poking his head around. Smell in the air. Is there danger? One minute ten. For the most part, face cut the noise, at least around the A bomb sites. That's a strong spot. Yeah. <laughs> That's a strong spot. All right, then, Veggie. The MP9 may be the perfect weapon for this. Does he swing wide? He's got to pick the right time. I think you heard a footstep. He had a lot more than that, and Ooh. that is absolutely glorious. Ooh. He doesn't know what else lies there. Pulling out the Molotov. Snatchy jumping into a lot of information. He's seen two of the three players, despite getting fragged. Mihu still in a short position for the time being. And there's Veggie taken out. So now the bomb can be rescued. Does Mihu choose to activate? Now there's possession of the bomb site and kind of market for FaZe Clan. So in a very bizarre situation, this is completely turned around after those two frags. Nothing doing for Versus Pro. That's a great shot from Mihu. Those swinging wide. Ooh. Beautiful from Mihu. Almost a third one. 1v2 now for Guardian. And they start to creep. There's high ground advantage for Virtus Pro with Ocalicious. And you've got snacks in the market, just waiting of an off angle, looking for a player to cross towards the short pillar. Nothing doing just yet. And he starts to move in as Guardian does the same. Oh, wow. Like ships in the night. Oh, it's the perfect flank. The perfect storm. This could not have gone better for Guardian. He's got such a strong spot. That's the must have frag, but somehow snacks is behind him. <laughs> I don't know how snacks is behind him. <laughs> How is Snacks behind him there? <laughs> well, I guess because Snacks, he held an angle through the window to make sure, as, as you often do with a CT, you hold an angle so you have certain information. So he knows that Guardian didn't go towards the short pillars. So he had to be dancing around there somewhere. There was, a, there was only a few places he could be, which is uh, the, other, the other option, if you're in market with, say, an AWP, is to hold angle towards bench so you know someone hasn't crossed the bench for the retake. Mm. So he had the information... So there wasn't really a need for him to look towards the pillars because he knew he wasn't there. Yeah. So that, that's a good play from Snacks, but very weird situation to watch. That was a weird round in general because I think it was, it was Mihu who was in the ladder room, but they were already in B from the catwalk area. And so that's why you saw Snatchy kind of hop out the window, get completely caught off guard there when there's two people already in the B bomb site. So very interesting uh, time uh, phase did on VP. Play. Well, so my nightmare scenario for FaZe is is a reality now, and they lost that round. They, all, <laughs> they got the bomb down, though, so they did get enough extra money to be able to have some level of utility here. But it's going to have to be a pretty fast round, it would seem, as they all make their way towards the A slope. So, Virtus Pro now, sna Snatchy's on the AWP. So this is where things could start to get worrisome for FaZe. But considering that they're going to go contact and fast into this B-bomb site, maybe they can avoid him, but maybe not. He's in the perfect spot. He's, he's by ticket. It's so safe to play ticket in a, in a round like this. And oh, that's a 
Bit of a dodgy spray, but it works out for Ocalicious. Can he get more? Yes, he can. Another frag going his way, and no one is down for VP. That is huge. Of Meister on fire alone. Phase of half the score of versus pro. A flank from Mihu will deliver another kill. He's having a good half so far. Again, definitely, I definitely recommend at least. Watching a Mihu demo, CT side of Mirage. You can learn a lot from it. Here's how it went down. They tried to make their way past the checkpoints, but Okalish just held his ground. 13 to 6 now. Again, those pinnacle odds were juicy. And they're looking good if you are a versus pro fan. Phase forced onto a half buy situation. We've got some Kevlar here and there. Snatchy looked like he was considering jumping into mid to look underneath the smoke, but uh, maybe not around for it. Miku trying to fall back. Ooh. Beautiful headshot from him. He's been ready with this M4A4. Spots a third player as well. The bomb is on the high ground with an escort. Mihu's waiting now for them. With Snack says the initial engager could jump out the window. There's fantastic support, but they are getting cut to ribbons. One by one phase. I hate you to finish things off. Phase trying to keep working that catwalk. I think it's like the third or fourth time in this half that they tried to do a, a B split here. It's not working out so far. Not indeed. It is not. Yeah, life has been pretty difficult. This would be an excellent round for Snatchy to go, you know, walk, like, scope up towards pits on A or something, or to go aggressive in mids, or drop into underpass. To do something funky, this would be a great round for it for Snatchy, but we'll see if they just keep keep things simple. And, uh, oh, there it is. The Molotov to deny the smoke on window. Do they realize? They must realize. There's a player low connector as well. Snatchy goes for a quick, quick look. Have to worry about window repeats. Veggie holding it down towards connector as well with the timely spray through the smoke. And indeed, up short again. That's the smoke from Mihu, which creates some space, hard to deal with. He can go behind it, look towards the underpass, or jump up on the pillar and look over the smoke towards top mid as well. So it causes a lot of problems for T sides. Neo's made his way around it though. He'll be familiar with that smoke himself. Mihu's fallen back to a different position. Maybe more funkier play because he's playing against a familiar opponent in that respect. Some scoping, looking through connector. Olaf Meister's here as well. And we can see Veggie with an off angle. Vertus Pro with no need at this point to be too aggressive. In his five versus three, Olaf Meister still finds a clean headshot. Falls back immediately, looking for a peek from Tollbooth. Yeah, they, they really seem convinced that there's uh, someone who's going to peek them from that position, but nothing doing just yet. They're running out of time. They gotta to go together somewhere and in less than 30 seconds, Snacks starts to take four positions. Now if they end up going B, Snacks could shut it down, but the timing might not be favorable. He hears the movement. Well, if I said, we'll get the kill. Well, that's sent everyone towards B. Well, Ocalicious has a great angle with the Orc and there's no cover. Oh no, the bomb's lost as well. And that's a wrap for this round. And there you go. That's the problem of going up short. It's Another B difficult. split. What was that, five? I did recommend the B split, but I also did say that Mihu's really good at defending on short B, so I think it's like a, versus pros a rough team to do it against. Yeah. Partly because of Mihu, obviously the whole general team plays great as well, but he does know how to cause problems in a short B position in ways that you don't see many other teams do. I also think it's one of the harder strats to pull off on this map well, because you, as, you, as you said, you need uh, good timing, smokes, flashes, whatever, and in a way that doesn't look predictable. Yeah. You see uh, FaZe, new IGL, I mean, it's four of the five same players. It's still going to feel a little different, and the pace is going to feel a lot different, too. This is pretty brutal. This might... I don't know how many points FaZe or how much cash FaZe have already, but... This is not a good look. <laughs> it's not a good this look. It's not a good look. <laughs> VP have been consistently dangerous, and actually, uh, FaZe beat VP in one of the first weeks, and... This could be could be some sweet revenge. Okay, we'll take down Ocalicious. Start to make their way forwards into the A site. Just trying to take those battles, but not working out against the Orgs. Up to Olaf and Guardian now. It's been such a struggle for basically everyone so far. Only Guardian in the positives. And 
Yes, nice shot from him. Three more to go to prevent the match going to VP. It's a long road to victory. He needs to clear CT to have a chance of planting the bomb. He's trying to do that, but look at the positions. You have a flank as well from Yeesh. Smacks, and that will be it. 16 to 6 for versus Pro. A big victory over a new look face clan with Neo. Neo not looking too hot in his first series with FaZe. Can't give him too much hate because it is his first series with day the team. One. Day one, it happens, guys. You have to build up, especially his IGL. You don't know what to expect completely. But Virtus Pro, they look like a whole different team than we've seen before. They look coordinated, they look on point. Their timing, spacing, aim, everything was looking really good. Yeah, they're quite fun to watch. And one thing here is that, you know, it really, again, it just goes to show that FaZe, FaZe didn't have a good CT side. And that's that's kind of the must for every single map for FaZe because their T sides across the board are not good right now. And that just lets them down time and again because you can't always have a good CT side. Evident evidence here. And as soon as they got onto the T side and they had to try to make good of it and try to, you know, win their way back into the game, they just completely flat. Yeah, and you could see they weren't reliant on Snatchy. He had eleven kills in this game and look at the look at the score they won by so that's fantastic a team effort from Virtus Pro on Mirage and a very dominating scoreline a Vanguard 1-2-0 versus fours in the other match that was happening at the same time so they'll be facing each other later on this week G2 and Mouse Sports will be the next game Epsilon and Ninjas in Pajamas will be playing at the same time so those will be very very interesting we'll break those down a little bit after the break and a break is what we're going to right now so we will see you back here in just a few minutes.